Welcome to Cat Tech! For today's tutorial, we will be doing another Polar Array Command activity. I have here our exercise 6 for our 20 days to decad exercises. Now, let's get started! Type units in your command line. So our precision should be, we have 2.38, so that is 2. 1, 2, 3, so 3 digits, and then millimeters, and then press OK. The next thing we need to do is to draw a circle. So we have a series of circle in our drawing, so it's 152, 127, 82, 38, and 19. Let's do the circle one by one. So I will begin with the biggest. Type D, 152. Now, let's start with the smallest. Diameter is 19. Diameter 38. The third circle, 82, diameter 82. Then the last one is 127. If the dimension is in diameter, do not forget to type D when you input the command circle. Now let's Put a line perpendicular and horizontal, vertical and horizontal line. Now the next thing we need to do is this part. So we will be making a line with an angle of 15, 15 degrees. Now let's make a 15 degrees angle line with the midpoint. There you go and another 15 degrees so we cannot make another so what we're gonna do is 15 plus 15 is 30 so we can just um, look for 30 degrees here and now we need to make this edge of our circle so it's uh, 15 degrees here and then the angle here is 90 so if you minus 90 minus 75, uh, sorry, 90 minus 15 is 75. So the angle that we will be making on this line is 75. So we need the, our UCS icon. Again, drag your mouse to the UCS, X and Y, right click, three point. So click here, the X will be this one, and then the Y is up. Now click the line, and then, then 75. Just look for 75. Just click it and then enter. So we have here now our um, our line. So let's put this back to Word. Now we will uh, polar array this line. Let's go to Array, Polar Array, Select Objects, Enter. Axis of rotation is the midpoint of our circle. And it says here 24, so we will be typing 24 and then press enter. Now we need to connect our lines with another line. So we just connect the lines here. And then again, we polar array. Enter, center point, 24, and then enter. So when you're done, we need to create uh, six circles inside. So the diameter is 25. So let's start here. Circle V for diameter and then 25. So let's array that circle. Array, circle, and axis of rotation. And then the default is six. And just press enter. So what we need to do now is to convert 
this line into center line. So we will load a line. Let's look for center. Okay. And then okay. And now you select the lines that you want to convert its properties into center. Then center. So we'll just adjust the line type scale later when we switch to our layout. So the next thing we need to do is to make this uh, keyway. So it's 4.76 by 2.38. So let's create a line. Let's yeah, intersect it with the line. So I will press F8 or also to make sure our line is straight. So the height is 2.38. 2.38 and then 4.76 4.76 enter so i will just uh be moving i will move this line move and i will use the displacement using the midpoint create another line again let's make it longer so this one we extend then the other one we will trim. Let's trim also this one. And then press enter. So, what we will do next is to dimension our, to put dimension to our drawing. So, if you go to dimension and then dimension style, the dimension that we make from our previous tutorial is no longer here. So again, what you're going to do, you don't need to create a new one again. You just go back to your previous drawing, copy one dimension, select, go to edit. Select the dimension, go to edit, and then copy, and then go back to your drawing, go to edit, and then paste. So once you go back to your dimension style, your previous dimension created from your last uh, activity or drawing or is, is already here again. So what you're going to do, you just need to set it current. Let's click it two times and then close. So let's erase now this one and then put dimension, diameter. Begin with the small one. Oops, sorry, I said small one. So uh, let's do it again. So we have the small one, the next, and then this one. What else? So we need to get the angles. Let's follow how this dimension is here. So go to Angular. So these two lines, it's 15. Type ED in your command line, enter. Then put 24x. It means 24 pieces and the angle is uh, 50 degrees. Now the next one is the 90 degree. So this line and this line. So the dimension is a little bit bigger. So let's move the little bit farther. And then this one. If you move the mouse, uh, let's click this. If you move the mouse here, an option will uh, come out from your screen. And you can just select move text only. That's off the F8. You can put it somewhere. Uh, and then let's just adjust the height of our text. So what we're going to do is um, click the dimension, right click. And then properties. Let's change the height of the text from 5, maybe 4. 
Okay, let's close this. And then ed is type 24x. Let's move this. Move text only. And then for the last one, leader. We'll use the leader. Click this one, go up. Type 4.76 by 2.38. Can change the font here. 4 or 5. 5. So we will adjust the size of the arrow. So what you can do is right click properties let's go to arrow and then make four so let's see okay close this so we have is everything labeled now with dimension and then this is okay now let's go to layout this is our drawing now let's double click inside the rectangle um, in case you accidentally delete this, let's say you click it and then you erase. What you're going to do is you type the mview command in your command line. Enter and just make a rectangle. So double click inside. To zoom in. To zoom our drawing. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There. So next is, I want to insert again the title block that I've created. So I will type insert. So I have, I have here my title block. So it's kind of big, same like what happened from last, our last activity. So what we do is we change the units. It should be in inches because I've created the title block in inches. And then press OK. Let's drag this one here. So as you can see, my uh, my title block has a preset uh, attribute. The name, drawing name, and date. So we'll just fill them in. Um, drawing name, polar, array. Activity 6. Oh, sorry, exercise 6. Exercise 6. And the date. Then press OK. Automatically, you will see those text in your title block. So, it's let's uh, adjust the image. So, if it's difficult for you to adjust with your mouse. You can just type Z or for zoom, enter, and then window, and then just highlight. Then window the drawing and then click. So double click outside. So if you try um, printing your drawing and then this line show, what you need to do is you go to um, layer. This one, layer properties. You can create a new layer or you can just click this one, go to dev points, and then turn off this one. And then the lines are not visible anymore. As you see on my title block, I have my logo. So I've created my logo in AutoCAD and then um, make it a block. And then insert it in my title block. I will make uh, another tutorial on how to make a title block with uh, attributes. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. So you will be updated for our new tutorial. Thank you and God bless.